Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Beta FV Meteor 75 One Swoop, a slightly bigger version of the Meteor 65 which I recently reviewed and also really liked. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up and test it both indoors and outdoors. In terms of packaging, inside its box along with the Meteor 75 you're getting a single 450 mAh 1S LHB battery which is using the new BT 2.0 connector and the female PH 2.0 to a male BT 2.0 adapter that will enable you to charge it using your standard charger. I recommend to get at least 3 more batteries because a single one is simply not enough you should also consider getting the new Beta FV 6-way charger which is using the new BT 2.0 connector and won't require you to use an adapter. In terms of specs, the Meteor 75 is using 1102 18,000 kV motors, Gemfans 1635 tri-bladed propellers, a very flexible frame which seems impossible to break and a highly durable canopy. Under the canopy you can find the Beta FV M01 all-in-one camera. It is based on a 600 TV line camera which is connected to a 37 channels 25mV VTX that supports smart audio. The camera angle is 25 degrees and unlike the Meteor 65 it's not adjustable. Finally the Meteor 75 is using an F4 flight controller. It supports up to 2S batteries, can pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.0, features an integrated 5A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, and in case you're getting the Sky FCC version, which is the one I have, it also features a built-in Sky SPI RX receiver. In addition to the Sky FCC version, you can also choose between other receiver options or get a plug-and-play version and add your own receiver. The wheelbase of the frame of the Meteor 75 is 75.7mm. The distance between the back motors and the front ones, and also between the right ones and the left ones, is 52mm so it features a true X pattern. Without a battery, the Meteor 75 weighs 29.9 grams and after adding the included 450 mAh 1S LHB battery, it brings us to a total weight of 43 grams. In comparison, the Meteor 65 weighs 22.8 grams without a battery and 30.3 grams including a 300 mAh 1S LHB battery. In order to bind the Sky FCC version, connect the Meteor 75 to your computer, open up Betaflight, hit connect, and you should note that by default the SPI RX receiver is going to be set to Sky X, which stands for D16 protocol, and if you'd like you can change it to FSKD, and then you'll be able to bind it using D8 protocol. I just left it on Sky X. And in order to complete the binding procedure, you will need to head over to the CLI, type bind RX, press enter. Now the receiver is going to be in binding mode, which is going to be indicated by this solid LED. And after selecting bind on your radio transmitter, the LED is going to start flashing, which indicates that the bind procedure was successful. Then make sure that all the sticks are working properly, define your favorite modes, and arrange the OSD elements according to your preference. You should note that even when the Meteor 75 is only powered via USB, the VTX is still going to be turned on, so don't leave it on the bench for too long when it's connected to your computer. In addition, I also recommend to calibrate the accelerometer, as mine wasn't calibrated out of the box, and it caused the quadcopter to drift on angle mode. So place the quadcopter on an even surface, and simply hit calibrate accelerometer. You should also pay attention that by default the motor's direction is reversed and out of the box the default profile is going to be profile number 3 which is a kind of beginner's mode and if you are not a beginner I highly recommend to change to profile 1. If you are a beginner however or you are teaching someone else how to fly I recommend to leave it on profile 3 as the rates are very limited and it makes this quadcopter very beginner friendly. The next thing that I've done is to test the Meteor 75 both indoors and outdoors. After testing it out I can tell you that this quadcopter feels very powerful for its size and in terms of durability I cracked it many times and unlike the Meteor 65 which has a very fragile canopy which tends to break easily, the Meteor 75 features a very robust one which is going to survive even some hard crashes. In terms of flight time you can expect between 2.5 to 3 minutes using the included battery and I also tested the Meteor 75 using the JAC firmware, which didn't seem to extend the flight time, however it did make the quadcopter more responsive, 
so I recommend to give it a try. In order to flash the Meteor 75 ASC with the JSC firmware, first download and install the JSC configurator, connect the Meteor 75 to your computer, hit connect, plug in a charge battery, and hit read setup. As you can see, my Meteor 75 ESC is already flashed with the JSC firmware, and just to show you how it's done, hit flash all, select the JSC version that you would like to use, I've used the 48 kilohertz, and if you'd like, you can also use 24 kilohertz, and if you're feeling experimental, you can also use 96 kilohertz. After selecting your version, hit flash, and it's going to take about 40 seconds for this procedure to be completed. Now, instead of hearing, When connecting a battery, you're going to hear this very pleasant sound. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage without the JSC firmware, and overall I can tell you that I'm pretty pleased with this little quadcopter, and I think that it's recommended both for beginner and advanced pilots. As always, I would like to thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.